Hi guys, I'm uh, Greg Gent, I'm the current general manager of the Capital Cinema here in Warrnambool. It was uh, just a converted theatre, had an upstairs balcony and downstairs uh, dance floor hall type setup. Well, I'm Stan Stevens, and this is my wife Norma, and we've been associated with the theatre for over 50 years. I first started here as an usher back in the 50s. Hello, I'm Noel Hallam. I've worked at the theatre here for th 34 years, or a little bit more. Hi, I'm Ivan. We're in the projection room of uh, Cinema One at the Capitol Theatre at Warrnambool and I've been up here for 37 years. I remember the first day I was extremely nervous uh, because w walking in here and having a packed theatre. Well, I remember the first day I started here in 1971, coming up into the projection room and sizing up everything. Well, the theatre and I are the same age. We were both being built in 1929. Uh, the theatre opened in 1930. I didn't come to the opening, actually. <laughs> I got a job here as an usher in about 1951, 52. My first memories of the cinema were when I came here on our first date and you took me out, bought me a box of box uh, old gold chocolates. <laughs> um, she ate most of them. Yes, I think <laughs> I must have. I guess uh, the cinema is a, a place for people to come and meet. Um, first dates, all that sort of stuff. I had a few dates here myself. This is uh, one of our uh, downstairs cinemas. Uh, it's fairly cosy, you could say. Some of my early memories of coming here was back in the uh, early 90s. I think the first movie I saw here was uh, White Man Can't Jump. It was a uh, Saturday night, and that was uh, before the cinema was converted. When we took over the capital, Norma ran the drive-in and I ran the theatre here. We ran a lot of live shows here. They were magnificent live shows. And the girl ushers all wore long dresses like in the olden days and saw everyone to their seats. It was part of the history of the theatre things mm. that we diversification from film. People like Roy Orbison twice, and the Platters and Cilla Black. Cilla Black. Jean Pitney. Burl Ives. This uh, this theatre at one stage used to hold just on eleven hundred people. And of course it's been broken into the three three theatres. Well here we are up in Cinema One, which is our main cinema here at the Capitol. It's uh, where we get most of our big blockbuster movies premiere. Well, look, I guess the film I enjoyed most was Crocodile Dundee, and it happened across Australia and everybody thought, oh Paul Hogan, that won't take a penny, but of course it went on the, to be one of the highest grossing Australian films ever. We showed Crocodile Dundee One 108 times. I got to know all of the jokes in it and I used to enjoy sitting outside and listening to the people all laugh. During the live show, one of the funny things that happened, the local identity used to come along and he would uh, have his coat on and two cans of beer stuck down the front. <laughs> and we'd take the beer off him and put it in the um, refrigerator to keep it cold for him. He always sat in the same place near an old gas heater. And one day we pulled the gas heater out and it was packed with empty cans. He had the two down the front, but his belt around the back had another half dozen. <laughs> so he had us worked out there. I've had a couple of funny experiences. Probably the best one that I can remember is uh, we actually had a streaker here one night who was running around in Cinema One while I was working in projection. And in those days we used to have a late night usher and uh, he was a young guy named Kyle. And he phoned me up and uh, was in an awful panic and said, uh, Greg, we've got a streaker in Cinema One, so I thought, I've got to see this. So I came running out and uh, I saw a, a, a fellow's naked backside running uh, up the stairs and down the stairs. It's very important for a town the size of Warrnambool because the dancers now, of a Saturday night, there were four or five dancers at the Fire Brigade Hall, the, the Band Hall, the Temperance Hall, the Palais Hall, and so on, and the kids had somewhere to go. But now it's, they've all gone, and the only thing for kiddies and, or young people in Warrnambool now is the pub or the, the cinema. And it plays a uh, very important part of the social life of Warrnambool. It gives them at least to, to get out and mix with people also. To be able to do that, and also to go out with your friends, rather than to be staying home and watching 
television all the time. Certainly one of the big challenges for us here at the Capitol and, and I guess every other cinema is to uh, get people coming back in rather than uh, wanting to go home and sit in their lounge room and watch DVDs, which I think is just not the same as coming in watching things on the big screen. I think I've got one of the uh, best jobs in the world to come into the, a beautiful old building like this every day. Our time in the, in the industry has been very rewarding. Uh, we, Norma and I uh, part owned the Colac Drive-In Theatre and the Warnable Drive-In Theatre and the Capital Theatre. So our whole life and our whole business interest has been in, uh, in the movies. We're in the illusion business. Uh, we didn't have a pile of bricks and mortar or fruit and vegetables to sell. We just had the image on the screen and the idea of people's imagination running away with them, coming in and leaving their cares behind them. And we were entertaining them. And that was one of the big features, most satisfying features of our job here.